Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today we are learning a very important topic that is human ear which is very important from the examination point of view and it is requested by many students so I have just tried to make a very simple video on human ear to simplify it because this is a very important topic so firstly I have bifurcated this topic that is human ear into three subtopics that is the external ear the middle ear and the internal ear to simplify the whole concept as well as the whole diagram which is very easy to memorize if we will study it in some subtopics so the subtopics are external ear then middle ear and then the internal ear so firstly we are going to study about the external ear so the external ear is formed up of two parts that is the ear pinna which we can see in all human beings the ear pinna which is also the characteristic feature of mammals there are some characteristic feature of mammals by which we can differentiate mammals from all other animals such as ear pinna external body hair mammary glands so external ear pinna is a very good characteristic feature of mammals which is formed up of auricular muscle that is an elastic cartilage and it is covered with a fold of skin which we can easily observe so after that there is another canal like structure that is known as auditory meatus that auditory meatus is very important part of external ear because it has seruminous glands which secretes cerumen cerumen is also known as ear wax so the seruminous glands which are 4000 to 5000 in number in a single auditory meatus they secrete cerumen which is ear wax which is very useful to trap the harmful particles as well as in auditory meatus there are many hairs fine hairs these hair like structures just protect ourselves from some harmful particles which can enter our body via air so when we are receiving the sound signals with the help of ear pinna ear pinna is firstly you know said to be a vestigial organ because some people think that it has no role in our body but it has a function of capturing the sound waves from the environment so when the sound waves are captured by the ear pinna and just transferred to the auditory meatus the unwanted particles that comes with air are trapped by the hairs present in auditory meatus which is 2.5 cm long in length and it also produces cerumen which is also protective in nature so this is the external ear which shows a little bit amplification in the sound waves that comes via the ear pinna a little bit amplification because the most of amplification is done by the middle ear with the help of malleus incus tapis which are the small ossicles present in the middle ear as well as the oval window so most of the amplification of sound that are trapped by the external ear pinna is done in middle ear but the external ear is somewhat responsible for the amplification of sound but up to a very little extent so we have to learn that so this is about the external ear which is formed up of ear pinna and auditory meatus after that let's move towards the middle ear this particular thing this membrane like structure by which the external ear opens into the middle ear this particular membrane and this membrane when we are going to join this particular two diagrams then we will realize that these two membranes are same as i have divided this diagram into sub diagrams therefore this particular membrane is shown at two different places but it is a common membrane so this membrane is known as tympanum which is oval in shape as we can easily observe that this is oval in shape which maintains this is a very important function the tympanum's function is to maintain air pressure in both the sides of ear for example this is the tympanum the tympanum's function is to maintain air pressure in external ear as well as in the middle ear that is in both sides of the tympanum so tympanum is very important which is oval in shape the middle ear is somewhat air filled because it is an empty space so there is a lot of air filled inside this particular chamber there are three ear ossicles ossicles means very small sized bones so ossicles are present in middle ear which are malleus incus and stapes so there is a trick to understand all these that is miss 
Mis simply means M I S that is malleus, incus, and stapes, which are the three ossicles. Stapes is the smallest bone of our body, which is the smallest ear ossicle also. These three ossicles are joined to each other with the help of some articulations. Some articulations are some sort of connections by which all the bones are joined. So when the sound waves come from external ear, then pass or travel via auditory meatus and reach the middle ear, then it just stimulates the malleus, then transfer to incus, then transfer to stapes, and then go to the internal ear. So they all are joined via some kind of articulations. There are two small chambers as we can look. This one is oval in shape that is known as the oval window or fenestra ovalis. As the name indicates, fenestra ovalis simply means oval. And a small round window that is round or circular in shape that's why it's known as round window. These two windows are oval window and round window respectively. As when we going to uh, join these two diagrams, we will realize that these two windows and these two windows are exactly the same one. So this is the oval window that is fenestra ovalis and this one is the round window. There is an extrusion in middle ear which reach the throat or the pharynx region and this particular extrusion is known as eustachian tube or nasopharyngeal tube because it joins the middle ear to the throat region or the pharynx region that's why it is known as nasopharyngeal as the pharynx word is coming in this particular term. So the amplification of sound is done in middle ear as I have told you earlier how the amplification of sound takes place as all the sound waves you know are coming like this all the sound waves are coming like this and they have to converge in this auditory meatus because the diameter of this auditory meatus is lesser then it passes via tympanum which has a large diameter but the oval window via which the sound passes from middle ear to the internal ear they have to converge because the diameter of oval window is very 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 small as compared to the tympanum so as the sound waves goes to uh, are going to be converged therefore the sound waves amplifies as well as there is the role of malleus incus as well as tapis in the amplification of sound waves so it is very important part of this particular diagram that the amplification of sound waves is done via two ways one is when the sound waves passes from tympanum to the oval window, they converge, therefore amplifies, as well as there is role of malleus, incus and stapes in the amplification of sound waves. And up to what particular extent they amplify the sound? They amplify the sound up to 20 to 25 times more, which is a very big term. So the amplification of sound which takes place in middle ear amplify the sound waves up to 20 to 25 times more. Now the next section is the internal ear. The internal ear, the sound waves comes in internal ear from the middle ear via the oval window. Like this. The oval window. This is formed up of three semicircular canals. All the three semicircular canals are present at right angles to each other. Right angles means 90 degree that is perpendicular to each other and it is formed up of other kind of structures that is utriculi utriculus seculi or seculus and a very coiled portion that is known as cochlea so this is all about the external ear middle ear and internal ear when we are going to join these three diagrams then we realize that this is a single diagram which is you know separated to make the concept of ear very easy so after that we are going to learn how sound is transmitted and how we are able to hear any kind, kind of sound. So stay tuned guys for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching this video guys.